All right, I'll do it. After my undetermined break from Paleo Profile, I'm back. And once again, we're talking about giant prehistoric relatives. And as you can obviously read from the title of this video, we are looking at the giant prehistoric snake, Titanoboa. Well, heck, we have an awesome one today. Ever since, well, forever, humans have always feared the thought of giant snakes. From Greek mythology to the Mayan jungles, giant snakes have always been a prime concern for us. Now, do we really have to fear the threat of giant snakes? Apparently, yes. Titanoboa was discovered in 2009 in a coal mine in Colombia, when miners discovered strange fossilized vertebra from what looked like a giant snake. And guess what? They were right. It was a giant snake. A really giant snake. It turns out the vertebra belonged to a giant 42 foot long boa constrictor that was aptly named Titanoboa, meaning Titan Boa. Titanoboa seems to be a creature taken straight out of science fiction and folklore. This monster serpent grew to at least 42 feet long and most likely grew much larger. Due to the variation in sizes seen in modern day boa constrictors, which can range from size from 7 feet to 22 feet, Titanoboa might have grew to a maximum length of 60 feet, making Titanoboa one of the largest predators that have ever walked or slithered the earth. Now, this can't be proven, but we can always speculate. Oh yeah, did I mention this guy was a predator? Titanoboa most likely lived a lot like the modern day anaconda, swimming in rivers and swamps and strangling prey, such as large crocodiles and other reptiles. Titanoboa showed up on the scene about 60 to 58 million years ago, about 4 million years after the extinction of the dinosaurs. Meaning, sorry guys, Titanoboa and T-Rex never met. During this time after the dinosaurs mass extinction, the survivors were quick to fill the void left by the now extinct dinosaurs. As mammals and birds remained small, snakes, turtles, and crocs flourished. During the reign of the dinosaurs, snakes such as Titanoboa's ancestors had to remain small due to the competition with the feathered giants. With the dinos gone, Titanoboa could grow big, oversizing the previous record holder for largest snake, Gigantophius, by 10 feet. Titanoboa shared its post-dinosaur landscape with giant car-sized turtles and may have battled them from time to time. Titanoboa brutally constricted its prey, swallowing them whole. Its prey probably included early mammals, crocodiles, turtles, and fish. Not much more can be said about Titanoboa, because simply put, it's a giant snake. Titanoboa has been featured in Jurassic Park Builder, Primeval, and in the documentary Titanoboa Monster Snake. Titanoboa was also planned to be featured in the game, The Stomping Land, before the game was ultimately abandoned. Concept art of what it would look like can still be found online. Before we end this profile, I want to bring back my prehistoric battles. Earlier, I talked about how Titanoboa and T-Rex would never meet. Well, what would happen if the two creatures met? Well, let's whip out that Mortal Kombat music and answer the question. Alright, considering Titanoboa and T-Rex probably were relatively close in size, we can assume the fight would be a battle of strength and swiftness. T-Rex's massive and strong jaws would definitely crush Titanoboa if it had the chance. If Titanoboa was quick enough, it could easily aim for T-Rex's windpipe and constrict it to death. It's hard to say who would win, but I'm pretty sure T-Rex would win the battle because it has a height advantage. T-Rex would look down on Titanoboa, meaning T-Rex would have the upper hand. It would be easier for T-Rex to swiftly tilt its head down and crush Titanoboa than it would be for Titanoboa to grab Rex around the neck or head. So most likely the winner would be T-Rex, simply because it has the higher ground. Hello there guys, it's Trey again, and I am extremely, extremely happy to say that we have reached 50,000 subs, and I just want to say, wow, just wow. Thank you all so much for supporting me, and helping this channel grow. I love you guys even when you can be a little frisky. Anyways, and congratulations for this amazing feat, I want to make a special video in honor of reaching 50,000 subs, and boy do I have a good one for you guys. Which dinosaurs had feathers? Oh man, this one's going to be controversial.